Well, good morning, everybody. Super exciting morning here at LaBelle Creek Camp. We are going to dump our black tank for the last time on the Jayco. We are going composting toilet. We are so excited. So you're probably wondering why we want to go in this direction. So we, we have a lot of reasons to go. Um, you know, when we go traveling in the Baja or the Southwest, uh, we've noticed sometimes um, finding a dump station is it can be a little difficult. And we have to drive sometimes 20, 30 miles out of our way to find a dump station. Um, especially here in the Northwest, when you start coming back like in maybe March, a lot of the RV parks don't even open till April. So we're kind of, it can be difficult to dump your black tank. Um, and, and of course, in another country like Mexico, same deal. So that's really probably one of our number one reasons. And of course, saving water is also a very good reason to go composting. All right, here we are in the Jayco Baja. It's the original one that we're going to remove. So Brenda and I have been doing a lot of research on the composting toilets. Um, of course, everything's going to have pros and cons. Um, but for us, we are really looking forward to not ever having to dump our black tank, whether we're on the property. And of course, the Jayco is our travel trailer. Um, so while we're in the Baja, the Southwest, we will never ever have to find a place to dump our black tank. Plus it's also gonna save on water. So on the insulation, I actually took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Um, Cause when I removed the old toilet, there is a flange that goes down to the black tank. Wing nut cap that actually expands to keep the black tank smell from coming back in. Been using it for three days now and I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Like I said, all I need to do is put a beauty ring right here for the vent pipe. But I'm just gonna kind of show you the functionality of the toilet, if you're ever interested. This is an airhead toilet, and I know it's a funny name for a toilet, but that's what it's called. So let's look a little deeper into it, shall we? First thing you notice, it's got a nice gasket here. So when this is down, and right now, guys, I smell absolutely nothing. And we have been using it for three days. There is no smell. Well, right here, you can't quite see it, is an actual hole with a screen. And this actually brings in the fresh air that goes across the bottom of the solids tank. And then it vents out. Airflow is super important. Speaking of the solid tank, this is your flapper. And you can see the compost in there. That's the coconut husks in there. That goes to the liquid. When it comes to the liquid, guys, you can stand up and pee the way this is designed. It actually kind of swirls around and goes in. Um, but I would recommend sitting. Your wives and girlfriends will probably thank you anyway. <laughs> the liquid tank itself holds two gallons. I think at this point we have to dump it about every other day, maybe every third day. It just kind of depends how much you use it. Now, um, this is for the solids. So you open this up when you do your solids. And right down over here is this little crank handle. And there's a big auger inside that mixes up the coconut husks. So once you are um, done depositing your solid, you just give this handle, they say just a couple cranks. So yeah, the airflow going across the coconut husks. Um, and again, I'm right here and I smell absolutely nothing. So they say two people full time on the solids can go four to six weeks. We will figure that out, hopefully. We, we're going to let you know for sure how long it actually lasts. Um, but i got to tell you, so far, I'm pretty impressed. It's just really weird to use a toilet without water. Okay, so when it is time to empty the solids, they say when you crank this, 
as you can see this goes pretty easily they say when it gets pretty hard it's about time to dump there's these four little wing nuts that separate the top from the bottom bucket solid and then you twist this off set this off to the side and then this just attaches from the floor and you take it outside and you put a, a, a bag over it, you flip it over, crank the handle, all that comes out, flip it back, it's all in a bag, and then put your new brick of coconut husk powder in here um, with some water to help break it up, and then hopefully you're, you're good for four to six weeks. So here is where the fan is coming through the water tank compartment and all I have left to do is to put on the cover that uh, keeps the rain and the wind out um, I don't know if you can hear it but the fan is super quiet it only requires three watts of power so that's next to nothing and um, I'm I'm right here and I'm downwind and I, I, I could smell just a you know of the of the composting toilet but I'm, you know, this close. I stood back on the end of the trailer and I can't smell anything. So, so far, so good. So that is the video on the Airhead Toilet. We're going to do an update review in three months. We definitely want to put some time into this before we either give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, so we will be doing that. But I got to tell you right now, I'm giving it a thumbs up so far. And we will see you in three months with the Airhead Toilet Review. If you guys have any uh, comments or questions, um, please leave them in the comments below. Um, hopefully I can answer them as, as time goes on and we use this. Um, it's definitely way, way, way cheaper than, you know, putting in a septic system. Um, speaking of price, um, it's it's that whole thing is about a thousand bucks but it does come with everything pretty much what you need um, and we figured out between as often as we used to dump that just in dumping fees it'll pay for itself in about a year and a half so that's another kind of neat thing is that we're not gonna have to spend gas and or dumping fees as we do our traveling well that's gonna do it for this video um, got any questions or comments again feel free to ask hopefully I can answer them and we will see you next time on off-grid couple